so hello there. Maybe you were wondering um, what game I would like to try to show you next or what game I would like to try out next. And after doing some um, roguelikes and salt likes and playing a lot of classic RPGs, of course, the obvious next game would be a cooking simulator or a restaurant simulator. Um, yeah, I heard about this game. It's fun. Sometimes I actually do like to play these management games like Sims, where you like run a business. Um, for example, sometimes I play Big Ambitions and I should do a video on that where you can run like your own store. And I want to try this out <clears throat> and do some cooking with you and show you what the game is like. So um, just in case you're wondering, uh, I'm not really, I don't really consider myself a really good cook. I can cook a couple of things. I sometimes like to try out stuff. But a lot of times, you know, with the life I lead and the busy job, I really don't feel like very inspired to do a ton of elaborate cooking in the evening and just uh, go the lazy way and order something or cook something really simple. So, let me see. So this is the character I created, and uh, I just went through the character editor really, really quick. Um, you know, just wanted to try out the game. So this is my new restaurant. Welcome. That's and haven't quite moved in yet, and I'm playing this with a controller, by the way. Wanted to see how that goes, and this is my associate, Kasim. So hello. Look at you, your new uniform Uniform fits perfectly, it's as if it were made for you, probably was. As for the kitchen, I installed all the workstations, everything is up and running. Which means it's time to get back to cooking. We only have three days until the grand opening. Oh, and I left you a little gift to help you back up and r get back up and running. Hope you like it. So I guess that's the recipe book, right? Let's take a quick look around. We've got like a couple of pots and pans here. This is going to be the storage area. And here are my, um, you know, just, no, that's the storage, right? Got vegetables and meat, got my workstations. And uh, all of that is not available right now because I'm supposed to go through the, um, for the tutorial, I guess. And the first recipe I can do, beef and potatoes. So yeah, let's look at that recipe. The page shows all the ingredients needed as well as the work sessions required. So we need shallots or onions, uh, potatoes and beef. And we're going to use some chopping blocks and chopping boards, a stove and yeah. The recipe is divided into steps. Follow them in the correct order to learn how to cook the dish. I like that this is really low level because who would have thought that you need to follow a recipe, you know, step by step to put food together you can pin a recipe to get help us remind or er, helpful reminders when working so let us pin this with the right stick and so what we're supposed to do for the cooked french fries we chop the potato and then turn them into french fries in a deep fryer uh, we chop the shallots we would chop these beef and then we throw that together and that's pretty much it sounds simple enough so yeah, we get some lore now, because Kasim and me, we were at the same culinary school. Guess the same class. Guess that's how we met. See how that goes. I thought it would be the perfect dish to open your new kitchen. I stuck the shelves of all the ingredients we need so you can get started right away. So let's do that. Let's take the shallots and the potatoes. All the recipes are shown at the top right of your screen. Step a look at the list of ingredients and take them from your shelves. This is the first step of any recipe. Who would have thought that to start cooking you need the ingredients? But I'm learning something new every day. So here is first set of ingredients. So big side of beef. A heavy ingredient. Put it in a workstation to start preparing it. So let's do that. And let's use the wooden chopping block. You were at the workstation. These stations are where you perform all the different steps. This is the wooden chopping block. You can use to prepare large and heavy ingredients. You can choose how to prep. For now, you can only you only know one way to prepare this. Yeah, that's what I went through culinary school for, to know one way to cut beef. 
when you're ready start cooking so let's start and let's go wow that felt satisfying and i've got a big scrap of meat now and so yeah so let's quit the workstation and next is gonna tell me uh cut the chopped shallop and the french fries so let's do that and let's start so start again yeah you can just you know keep uh spamming the the uh, stick like uh to go like jamie oliver gordon ramsay style and cut them really fast isn't that impressive you're impressed right i'm halfway there on my way to like getting a michelin star i guess so i've got all the ingredients so we're gonna look at where's the cookware it's here right frying pan and we're gonna cook the steak the workstation you can access all the recipes you've unlocked to start cooking make sure to put all the ingredients you need for the recipe in your inventory place ingredients down one by one or use place all once you're ready you can start that's easy enough so let's place the shallot and the steak let's start cooking and we can adjust the heat and we can switch off the stuff while cooking a range various actions can be performed heat strength you can slow down and speed up the cooking so you can adjust it to your needs use turn on to stop the current cooking be careful food left along will be ruined obviously This is kind of relaxing. You can see it's like, you know, almost done on one side. Like the how the coloring changes. But what now? Now we need to flip it. Press the left button. And left bumper. And you can check the level of doneness on each side of the foot here. So there we can see one side is done already. And so let's flip it, and we're gonna use the stick. That was a bit clumsy, a little wonky, but we did it. It's a good thing I ate already, otherwise I'd be kind of hungry right now. I could have sped up the uh, cooking a little bit but yeah so let's cook the french fries while i'm running around with a steak in my pocket uh, so let's switch it on wait for it to heat up i could do with a deep fryer cool it's ready so yeah French fries is like my one of my favorite meals. I don't have a deep fryer, I've got an air fryer. I wonder whether restaurants actually use air fryers. And I have to admit this is getting me a little hungry. So I guess I'll get I'll make some French fries tonight in real life. Cool. So that's that. And now Let's go to the plating station and place the stuff. Okay, my character's doing that by himself. Okay, technical ex execution rate A. Follow each step exactly to achieve the best possible grade. For example, flip the meat so it's cooked on both sides. It's another life lesson I'm learning here that you have to cook meat on both sides, but you know, who would have thought? The dish grade depends on the quality of your produce, of your ingredients. So yeah. Cool. Tom. Your tutorial available. Seems you're getting the hang of working in the kitchen again. I think the recipe's missing a little something. I added some notes to the recipe book take a look so let's do that 
can now find cooking tips, so several criteria that affect your grades, respecting cooking times and adding ingredients at the right cooking phases, adding the correct spices, performing chef actions, for example, the, the meat. Following the cooking tips to get a better technical execution grade. The higher the grade, the better your dishes are. Nice. So let's scroll down and we see that we can now add spices. Hold on, let me go back to that. Let's pin it. And of course we need to clean the frying pan. We're just running it with water, okay? Yeah, who needs any kind of like... Any other cleaning stuff. So, cut up shallot and cut the beefsteak. Is that stuff still around? No. So I'm gonna get that. Oops. Oh, that's fish, I guess. Yeah, it's seafood. Okay. So we know, already know how to do this. So. Yay. I mean, I bet that you're impressed, right? <laughs> okay, so potatoes and shallots. And let's start. It's really easy to keep like wheeling the stick on the controller that fast. Yeah, nice. Okay, so next, grab the spices before you start cooking. Okay, so I've got those, and now cook a perfect steak with shallots. Uh, so let's get started. Start first and second. Every ingredient cooks at its own pace. The recipe shows at which phase each ingredient should be added. So, of course, in the start phase, you put the steak in there. Um, in the second phase, the shallots. All ingredients shown at the start phase are required to start cooking. The remaining ingredients should be added during their respective cooking phases to achieve a better technical execution. Um, I can enable the recipe reminders option available at the end of the tutorial. Okay, well, maybe I'll do that. So let us get started. Let's place all the ingredients, which is one. <laughs> okay, so this is the starting phase. And in phase one, we have to add the shallots. Add the shallots. Love how that went like it's time. And I think we should flip because it looks like it's brown on one side. Nice. Man, this is gonna be one good steak. Okay, time to add spices. Open your spice inventory with season. Spices you do so far are shown here. Each dose added contributes to seasoning the dish. Stop adding a pinch of each spice. This will guarantee that this dish will taste nice. A pinch of each spice. Okay. So let us add the salt and the pepper. Once the dish has been seasoned, you can choose your chef sense to find the right balance. Follow the directions to season the dish properly. If there's only a little bit of spice missing, add a single dose. Careful, a dose of seasoning added to a meal can't be removed. Who would have thought? Adjust the seasoning until you hit the perfect balance. Uh, finding the perfect balance takes time, but will be appreciated by your customers. Got it. So use the chef sense. Not enough salt. Perfect. Woohoo. And it's nice that it paused it during the seasoning. Otherwise, it would have been all over. I mean, it would have been overdone. Cool. So let's take the steak. And let's go. To the 
plating station and assemble the whole thing. Am I missing... I'm missing the french fries, right? Oh, I guess my steak's gonna be cold. Too bad. I maybe shouldn't have put the steak on the plating station, but kept it in my pocket. Because my buddy warmth probably keeps it warm, I guess. That's what I did the first time around, having it on me. Okay. So, now we've got a bunch of french fries in our pocket. And let's go. And let's start finishing it. Let's start finishing it. Wow, I'm a poet today. Uh, with that Batman pose. So yeah, A plus. You, the food you cook should be arranged and played in an appetizing way. Customize the dish to your liking. You can change the look of your plating from this screen. So how about we do that? Plating editor. <laughs> okay, plating is done a series of steps to confirm the step. Use the next step. Okay, plating steps. First stop at choosing a plate. You can also place mini dishes, which add extra water to the plate and can hold sauces. Place the dish combinants to increase the, to create your plating. Final step is to add decorative touches and add your creativity. So we've got a plate. Oh no. Okay, so we only have. Ooh. Black plate, nice. So, let's take this. There, we can pick the color there as well. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so let's try this again. So we've got the plate. So let's take the next step and place this. And let's place another one, right? Okay, so let's take the next step. Sorry. Uh, let's go back to the previous step then. Yes. Um, why do I need these? Can I put like these little thingies? Like next to the play? I can't. Okay. So let's place two of them because we want mayonnaise and ketchup. So let's take the next step. Mmm, delish. So let's take. I don't really have one. Oh, we could place it like this. Let me go back. So let's take next. Let's see. Ooh, it's pre cut and all sliced. That's nice. But what do I do now is the question, because uh, do I need to add more? Ah, okay, I get it. I get it. Um, I have to add a certain amount of that stuff. This is the minimum. below the minimum now yeah, let's see if I can like place it yeah okay so, but how do I now oh there we go mm-hmm 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 
What are these? Are these potato croutons? Nice. Uh, okay. Let me try this once more. So, next step. Let's add the steak pre-cut. Let's as at the fries. <laughs> I can add like all these different versions, but that's not gonna fit. Nice. And do I need to add anything else? And D. Onion stuff. Okay, get it. I have to add like I can add each little onion cube by itself. Nice. Cool. So we can take the next step. Now this is a little bit that took a little experimenting. Plate and ingredients. Oh, I can put like that, those those really nice smears on the on the plate that so many cooks do. Oh, I have no idea what this does, but let's save it. I can prepare several different layouts. You'll try to take a photo of your dish. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's so beautiful to take a photo. Mmm, mmm. I can also change the recipe. I mean, let's be honest here. They've put quite a lot of stuff in there. I mean, you can, I can edit that recipe thing. Where's the ketchup and mayo, by the way? Anyway, I can change the recipe name, the icon, and everything. That's a lot of stuff going on here. Very nice, very nice. Have to say. Jesus. Use this plating. Wow, but no mayonnaise and no ketchup in there. So 50 XP, technical execution, A plus, three stars, would buy again. Nice. Okay, so Kasim wants to talk to me once more. Done with the dishes, smelled amazing. What do you think? Are you happy with it or would you rather keep working on a recipe? I'll keep working. I'm happy with the dish. I mean, that looked so amazing. It's fantastic to see you work in the kitchen again. Getting late. We should go home. We have a big day tomorrow. That's some funky music again. Okay. So that was day one. So, um, yeah, that was fun trying that out. I'm sure I'll switch that put that on and continue it in between because this looks uh, pretty involved i mean it's like the cooking simulator but you know with like third person and um that was you know a bit that was quite elaborate i mean i could almost do without the plate decoration thing where I put together like each little crumb on my plate but i mean i have to say there's so much detail in here it's very nice so yeah, hope you enjoyed watching me burn, like making a steak and creating this beautiful, beautiful plate there. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you're into games like this, try this out. It's really, really good. So bye-bye and uh, enjoy your meal, whatever it's going to be. Hope it's not the one I put up there. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs>